Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my launch of my new course. I just created a new course and it's for junior pen testers. And this is really, really cool course. I really put a lot of effort into it. I really enjoyed it. I watched it myself just to make sure what I was explaining, what I was saying, you guys will understand. So I just wanna emphasize on this. If you are a pen tester today, this may not be the course for you. I'm just saying, unless you support it, you wanna support me, and of course I would allow you to, and I would love it, but I wanna make that clear, like this course is strictly for beginners. You're gonna learn about what is an operating system, what is Windows, navigating around Windows, navigating around Linux, specifically Kali Linux, what is Active Directory, getting into Active Directory, penetrating Active Directory, and getting to some web apps, some Wi-Fi hacking, some other stuff, so much stuff, and we'll go over it when I jump on the desktop. But I just wanna say thank you so much for those folks that already purchased it. I just dropped it today, which is Memorial Day, and I already have quite a few students already. So I would love your feedback at the end of your course. If you have any feedback, obviously join the Discord server, my Discord server, and go into the channel for the students. So let's jump onto the desktop and see what's going on. All right, everyone. So here we are on the desktop. So I just want to make this clear again. This course is for beginners. If you're a junior, maybe you're in IT today, maybe you're an IT help desk person or in system administration or network administration, and you wanna pivot into cybersecurity or penetration testing, this is for you. If you're a pen tester today, even a junior level, and you're doing penetration testing, this may be a little too junior for you. I just wanna put that out there. So this is the course. The course is for beginners. We're gonna dive into the world of ethical hacking to master the fundamentals of penetration testing. I wanna say fundamentals, beginner friendly, and this is who it's for, All right? You click enroll today, it'll bring you to the enroll, but this is what the course is all about. Yeah, I'll probably change my pictures, but I just wanted to get it out there for today, for Labor Day and have the sale and, and all that good stuff. So what, what you learn, you'll learn all about this stuff. So we're gonna go over the syllabus of what I have here at a high level. We're gonna do a little intro to the course and you know, the Discord server, my Discord server, the channel for you guys to discuss everything and anything. We're gonna get a little into the introduction of penetration testing and what it is, and then how I take notes. Like I said, I just, I didn't pass the CPTS yet, but I did finish it, and I'm just finishing up my report, and I have to submit that to Hack the Box, and hopefully I get the big win. And then I'll make a video on, uh, on the CPTS because that was, it was fun. Let's keep it that way. But, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and set up your environment, set up a lab, what we're gonna be hacking, right? So you're gonna do an intro to hacking lab and the uh, Kali Linux, installing Kali Linux. We're gonna install server 2022. We're gonna install Active Directory, Windows 10, even Windows 7. The reason I threw a Windows 7 client in here, and I don't remember if I said this in that video or not, is because I recently was on an engagement not recently, probably about three or four months ago, and they had Windows 7 machines in their environment and I was able to compromise Eternal Blue and it was a, it was a pretty good day for me and a nightmare for the client, but that's why I, st I still see Windows 7 out there. So you'll be surprised. So, you know, I put this in here and of course Metasploitable 2. And I was gonna include Metasploitable 3, but I think, you know, after going through it, penetrating, you know, some of the exploits, I thought that was a little more, a little more uh, mid-level, I would say. It wasn't so beginner friendly. So like I said, I wanted everyone to come into this course, learn, and at the end of this, they can speak the lingo. You're not, you're not gonna be, when you get out of this course, you're not gonna be ready for the CPTS or the OSCP. This is a stepping stone, just to make it clear, okay? So we're gonna be uh, introducing you to Linux, uh, specifically Kali Linux. We're gonna get into some intro and poking around there, some essential network commands for you know penetration testing and for the lab and navigating around the file system. And we can add so much to Linux, right? But like I said, I'm just keeping it surface level to have this person not be overwhelmed because I know 
This was another reason why I made this course. When I first got into pen testing, I was going out there, searching out courses, looking at whatever, Udemy or, you know, TCM wasn't out then. This was 12 years ago, right? And uh, 11 years ago now. So everywhere I was going, it was way over my head. Like, I always bring this example up because it's so true, true to me, right? I remember watching a video probably about six years ago about Bloodhound, right? And Bloodhound wasn't very straightforward to install or everyone just, you know, skipped the step about Neo4j and understanding about, you know, the database that needs to connect and blah, blah, blah. And I show you guys in this course how to set it up. But so I always said, okay, what can I do to make it easy because I want to understand it. And if I can understand it, I'm sure I can convey this to another student. So that's the reason why I make my course the way I do. Okay. And the next section here is Windows introduction. We're going to get into some Windows, Windows 10, Windows Server, some commands and so on and so forth. And then we'll get into some networking, right? I can teach a whole CCNA, CCMP level type networking, and but this is not for that. This is just like, what is an IP address? What is an IPv4 address? What is IPv6? You know, what is a subnet mask? What is a default gateway, right? These are things that you need to know for an entry level or a junior pen tester, right? So understanding what MAC addresses are because maybe you're gonna be doing MAC spoofing, right? Understanding what ARP is when you send out that broadcast on layer two, right? So this is all critical stuff. Understanding UDP, TCP, the three-way handshake, the OSI model, common ports and services, right? So the next one is the, you know, the pen tester hacker methodology, the five stages of hacking, scanning and enumeration for, for pen testers, and then obviously reconnaissance and information gathering. This is super critical, right? And I, I could have done a whole section on OSINT, open source intelligence, which I may add it. You know, this, this course is just getting started, right? I can always add to this. So whoever purchases it, whoever goes through this, I'm all ears for feedback. Please give me feedback. I want to know what I can add, how I can make it better. And this is my first course I ever put out that's structured. Everything else is like a YouTube video here and there, but this is more of a structured course. So if there's something that you want to see, please let me know. And remember, keep it beginner friendly. Don't ask me to go do some you know, advanced exploits and stuff like that that we need to do to pass the OSEP or do APT labs on Hack the Box or, you know, this is just beginner friendly. So if there's something that's beginner friendly that you recommend, shoot it at me and I will add it. Okay. So yes, reconnaissance and information gathering. There's some stuff that we're going to go over here. And this is the section here. And then the next one is vulnerability scanning with Nessus. I was going to use OpenVos, but Tainable is, you know, more well known in the community. And if you look for a job, you're going to be using Tainable probably or Rapid7 or Qualys. But in your lab, I would say Tainable Nessus community is good enough because I think it's up to 16 nodes that you can scan. All right. So then the next one, we're going to do some Linux hacking with Metasploitable 2. And then we're going to do some Active Directory hacking. This was my second favorite, right? My first favorite was probably the Wi-Fi hacking because I really enjoy Wi-Fi. So I was trying to keep it so entry level, but I could go on and on and on about Wi-Fi hacking and all this cool stuff that we can do, but I kept it at a basic level like I promised myself to do. So in this section, you're gonna join a computer to a domain. You're gonna grab some hashes. You're gonna crack them and you're gonna gain access to the system. You're gonna be using LDAP domain dump. You're gonna use Bloodhound. You're gonna pass the hash, pass the password attacks. Uh, cracking hashes from a dump, like a secrets dump. Uh, you're going to be creating SPN accounts so you can do coborosing. And then I have a, a Windows 7 VM that I created because you can't really download Windows 7 anymore. I luckily had a image from back in the days. I created it. I exploited it, made sure it was all good in the hood. Then I uh, created a VMDK and then I uploaded that as well. So you can download that. It's in the resources. And then you can do some password cracking. Once you get on this machine, we don't know the password. So, you know, we can use some of the commands or some of the exploits that we, we can do. We turn on blue and then we can get on with Metasploit. And I, and I show you guys how to do that. And the next section here is web, web app pen testing. 
right? This is the section for web apps. We use damn vulnerable web app for this section. And then we do some Wi-Fi hacking. What is Wi-Fi pen testing? You know, what we need, I don't have many, uh, I don't have any of the, uh, any of the, whatchamacallits, the USBs right now, because I put everything away. But, you know, I show you what router I use. You can get any router. You can test it on your own router. But again, I, I show all that stuff in the course. And then the last piece here is uh, pen testing career section of cybersecurity. So I teach you how to, you know, write a resume, what to look for in your resume, how to, you know, structure it, how to build a LinkedIn profile, how to search for pen testing roles, what questions that you're probably going to be asked on a pen test interview, and then how to use ChatGPT for pen testing. I love this video. That's probably why it was so long because I use ChatGPT every single day in my career, every day. Not a day goes by that I don't use this tool. So utilize it, take advantage of it, and just enjoy it, right? And then the last one is not my favorite, but my favorite, right? Wink, wink, how to write a pen test report. And I give you guys some templates and all that stuff. And yeah, and that's my ugly face. So that's a little bit about the course. And yeah, like join today. Let me know what you think and put a comment in, you know, in, in the comments below. Hit me up on LinkedIn. And yeah, the link is in the description. So hit it up, check it out and give me your feedback. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you.